and welcome to our Christmas edition of On Stage at ACT. Thanks for sitting down and taking this time to talk about Tuna Christmas. Um, most, if not all, the people who come to our sh uh, shows are not familiar with you, so why don't you take a brief moment, introduce yourselves, and give a little bit of your background. Aiden, you go first. Um, I'm Aiden McDonald. Um, I've done, been doing theater for about eight years now. This is my 27th production. I've done work at the Pineapple, and this is my second show here, and yes, yeah, so I'm very happy to be here. So, yeah. and, and I'm Johnny Waite, and I'm originally from Boston, which is where I did theater. Um, I have been out of theater for about, oh, probably 20 years. Uh, first production back, it was a challenging uh, <laughs> task to, to take on for uh, first uh, re-entry into, into uh, theater. So, Aiden, Johnny... You've just completed your first week of shows. You've got one more week coming up. I just saw the show tonight. How do you feel mid-run? Very good. I, I'm yeah. really upbeat about it. Yeah, because, you know, we did the rehearsals, and we were still trying to get everything done, and, yeah, and then I think the crowd was great tonight. I think after opening Night Jitters, everything came together. Yeah. It was just beautiful. Everything was fine, yeah, because you have to be nervous at first, and then once you get out there, it's fun. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Now... This is a very unique show because you have giant split personalities. You each play about a dozen characters. <laughs> Eleven each. Eleven each. Um, do you have a favorite? Mine's Ainita. Because she's just so funny. I don't know. And she's just silly. But also Bertha. I like Bertha. Now, Ainita is the, the, the taste she's, of cream waitress. Yeah, she's the waitress. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She's very out personal. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny? Probably, uh, probably Petey. Yeah. I think he's just the most touching character in the show. Yeah. Um, and I, I love the, the Christmas monologue, which really brings it back home, what the yeah. show's really about, you yeah. know, the spirit. Yeah, I was listening to it and going, ah, oh, this is such a Linus moment. And it's great, such a Linus. It's, um, I have done some um, exit interviews with people, and Petey has definitely been zero, um, featured by people who like that, and they're all hugely in love with Vera. Yeah, yeah. And she's, she's everybody that you want to be. She yeah. says all those things that yeah. you'd like to say, yeah. but can't. And yet she's the one that everyone hates, but loves her, though, because, yeah, she's still at top, yeah. Now, how long are you guys in rehearsal? Um, about six weeks? Six, yeah, yeah. six weeks, about. yeah. And then, of course, you know, Thanksgiving was in the mix, so I went away, and they were still rehearsing, and yes. Yeah, so. And then we did about a week and a half straight. A technique, you know? yeah. yeah. But it so. all came together, though. Yeah, I know being a two-person show, that is a lot of dialogue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it extremely difficult, moderately? I mean, did you have, I mean, what was the, the challenging part of this other than, you know, changing I'm, character? I'm going to say extremely for me. Yeah, because <laughs> um, yeah, the first scene with all the monologues and stuff, but it takes time to get it. So some of the scenes, like, some of them have, like, really long dialogues, but... Most of the time, once you get into the character, it goes quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. they're, they're but it just, wasn't great at first. Doing, we, you know, we've talked about there are places where the, where the, the there's no like, is, yeah. is disjointed. Sometimes, usually in dialogue, there's like a hook on word for the other actor, but this one there really wasn't, so, yeah. And it sounds like, you know, uh, not that it was written this way, but a lot of your longer dialogues are to give someone a chance to change their clothes. Yes, of mm -hmm. course, yeah. And some of them aren't that long. <laughs> you yeah. slept it. Well, I was just about to ask that. What is your quickest costume change? Probably uh, Pearl coming back into RR, because I have the dress underneath, and then I pull the sweats up, and then I pull it down, and then I put it underneath again, and then having to put the jacket on. It's crazy. And then the sheriff and uh, Ike, they're very quick ones. So they're what, like 15 seconds or less? Not even, like 5, yeah, 10 seconds, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. John, yeah the, di the diner ones are the... Uh, the diner ones are the craziest, office. yeah. For him, because, yeah. Because definitely. you're just in and out, you know. You've got yeah. a few lines, and then you're off again, then you're yeah. back on as another character, and <laughs> yeah, then you're back as crazy. the waitress, and yeah. that, you know, so it's just you lose the forth. voice, and it's like, oh, wait, where am I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Aiden, you have a great scene in that, in there, where you have a fight with yourself. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, yes. So you're actually... 
in costume as a, another a character, and you're arguing as another character. What yes. do you do? You find it difficult to switch back and forth? No, I find it very fun. Sometimes, like I have to think of the line and the voice, but yeah, it's fun because sometimes I just move back and forth, and I'm trying to make myself look ragged and stuff. But yeah, it's really fun. Those are my favorite characters. Now, everyone in the audience has been so responsive. Does, do you feed off them when you're when you're performing? Almost certainly, yeah. Because yeah. 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 I mean, you that, need them to make it funny. Yeah. 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 It, you definitely, I mean, it, it just, it, you want to um, really enhance the jokes and, and, and just it really work on the timing more. Yeah. I mean, I think we're getting better. I, just in the three yeah. shows, I think the timing of the comedy has gotten much better. Yeah. We definitely improved, you know. From well, I only wish this was your 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 soft opening, like your preview week, and you could run for two or three weeks afterwards. But obviously, Christmas is coming, so you know right. it's only a, a limited shelf life for this yeah. this type of show. Um, and I was talking with uh, your director slash tech, that's you know Dennis. Mm -hmm. The tech in the show is pretty much almost a third character because mm -hmm. it's so much involved. Do you find that that helps you guys with all the tech and the sound effects and the lights? Is that yeah, Surely. it definitely yeah. enhances the show. Yeah, yeah. and then they, 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 that gives you some of your cues for where exactly. you're going. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the hair dryer and the cat, you mm -hmm. know, so yeah. I love, and I love the UFO abduction. That is yes. really, <laughs> really <laughs> funny. Yeah. A lot of times you can cover when you have multiple people on stage. If you drop a line or you mm -hmm. get lost or something. Is there a lot of pressure on you guys to, to make sure you're like spot on, spot on to, to well, so, because you don't only have yourself to rely on. It's it's helpful, but I I have to say Aiden is fantastic, because I'm definitely more of the flub. No, <laughs> so, no, no, no. And Aiden is very, very good no. at, at covering my screw up, so. No, no, just sometimes, yeah, but no, Johnny's very good too. When I need, the quick changes needs to be quicker and faster. He's always there. You do have dressers back there, right? Yes, Eileen. She's I, a really good dresser. Girl. You have one awesome. dresser. And, uh, yeah, and Dennis's wife, Karen, helps me Karen's as well. has been helping yep. some. Yep. She helps me unhook the bra and unhook yeah. it off. So. Eileen's, Eileen's really the rock back there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure we get the right tree out and all that <laughs> stuff. Take this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, Aiden, you're very young. Mm. You want to give it, how old are you? I'm 14. You're going to be 15 next, on uh, next Saturday. So you're... A Christmas baby, so you're uh, you're going to be 15 years old. When I first heard that, and then I saw this and saw you in this, I mean, I've met you when we did you know, the radio show. It's great, and you're quite talented, but I had no idea how much of uh, a range you could do, and no one would believe that you're 15, yeah. <laughs> which is great. I was astounded. I just found out yesterday, um, and we were talking about it backstage, that his birthday was coming up, and... Um, I, I, oh man, I'm 53. <laughs> and and you, honestly, I wouldn't guess you at 53 either. So, Thank and you. seeing the two of you side by side, um, in character as Stanley and um, Aunt Pearl, Bertha, uh, Bertha. Yeah, and Bertha. I mean, you 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 look like you're you're similar heights. It's not like Aiden, you're you know four foot eight and you're six foot two. Mm -hmm. You look similar height. You you work well together. I think the pairing on this is is amazing and. What was it like to go through all this rehearsal process for you guys in finding these characters? It's good. I, I mean, it's been it has been an exploration. I think yeah. even still, the characters seem to be developing even yeah, more. Even they more, they yeah. seem to be growing in personality as yeah. we go through this. Yeah. We, I, yeah. I'm kind of hoping we can do this again because yeah. uh, we spent so much time on it and we did, uh, yeah. developed these these people, yeah. you know, to yeah. such a to such a place where. Um, they're just fun. I'd well, like to just, do yeah. the other tuna plays even, yeah. you know. Yeah, comfortable with the characters, because we made the outlines for the characters, and now we get to add more to it every mm -hmm. verse in the show, so yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to wrap this up, because I know you guys are tired, and you need you want to have to enjoy the rest of your Sunday, but if you could pick one of your co-workers' characters to play, who would you steal? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I need a Joe Bob, you know, because yeah. I, I I think that is that's so much fun. Yeah. That'll that just. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the drama. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So, so if you get the chance to do it next year, maybe you guys will flip flop the roles. You can yield. Yeah, you... uh, even though I think we're so comfortable in these roles that I think people might be like, oh, okay, but yeah, I think. We could I think do it. I think we could do I it. Think we could probably, probably know each other's parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could probably say them both at the same time. I so. know. I know he knows mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you guys are having a blast. I wish you could do it another weekend. You know, the, the, but you know, Christmas is that Friday, so. Oh, I wish you a very successful uh, second weekend, and uh, you can see uh, Tuna Christmas playing here exclusively at ACT Studio Theater next weekend, December 18th, 19th, and 20th. Please get your tickets now. They are selling quickly. Guys, thank you so much. Thank Love you. to see you here. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.